Welcome to the Metal Collector. Today's video will be about Danish black metal and my personal favorite top 10 list album releases from this department. Stay tuned. Welcome once again YouTube and welcome to this video I have been looking very much forward to do. It's about Danish black metal and I would consider myself to be a very active collector of Danish black metal re releases. Uh, it's difficult because we have these days a lot of bands releasing stuff all the time and still some of the old ones are still active as well. But I try to do my best and this top 10 list of the Danish black metal albums is based upon the stuff I have in my collection. There are two other full length albums that I have been listening to on the internet, uh, but I haven't been able to get them in my collection yet. So those two won't be a part of the of this list, even though I have a feeling they could be. Maybe next year I'll do another video um, to see how things are looking at that time. But this is my personal top 10 list for now, right now. So um, I've been cheating a little bit. I will say that I should probably have called this a top 11 because I have two albums sharing spot number one. I know it's cheating, but I just couldn't decide which of those two albums were the best. They are equally good. And with I, I don't hope, yeah, anyway, it's my list. I can do what I want. So, but anyway, let's, let's try and do this. Let's start out with the first one on spot number 10. This compilation album with the band Swartzen and it's entitled Vendel. This is an old Danish black metal band, and if I roughly should translate its title to English, uh, Vanvid, it would be insane or insanity. Insanity. And that's pretty much sums up what kind of music it is. It, it's pretty insane. <laughs> it's insane black metal. Um, sounds like a, some, some people gathering up to do some black metal, and, and the only thing they knew were to just do crazy, noisy, raw stuff, the vinyl edition, which I'm very happy to have in my collection of this album. Um, some of these members, uh, after this was released, they uh, split up, and some of the members were starting a new black metal band some years ago called Dolly Stimning. I think the band is still active, though, and re they released something. And two of these members, of the three members, of sorts in were involved with that project there was a female keyboard player she committed suicide some years ago unfortunately so this will be a little tribute for her and i can say if you're into insane black metal um not you know not the typical stuff and sounding very i don't know really how to know how to describe it but wait a second, there will be an album that's even harder to describe. Check this out. I, I really love it. Um, I, yeah, can't really describe it or say anything about it. This was, I can add that the vinyl version of this compilation was pressed in uh, an unknown amount of copies. So I think that is pretty cool. And the CD version, I think it was 2000. So, but, but check this out. The... It's, it's, I can say the compilations are with uh, the two full-length albums uh, they did, plus the EP. And on this uh, release, there are two unreleased tracks. So, that was it. That was spot number 10. So, this spot number 9, we have an old, another old Danish black metal band. Blue Owl with the album Soul Collector. If you're into atmospheric black metal with uh, some melodies and some melancholic uh, vibes check this band out they have been around for since the the middle of the 90s the beginning of the 90s you know it's one of our oldest bands and they are still active and i think this is the first full-length album they did as far as i remember they have released tons of stuff but i you know i don't have that much in my i have some seven inches as well uh and a couple of cds very underground has always been and will always be underground black metal from Denmark. 
And I, you know, I respect that. I think it's cool. They have their own way of, of looking into black metal. So, uh, again, atmospheric. Uh, the production of this album is not that good. It sounds a little bit cheesy, but again, it's black metal. So what can you expect from the underground black metal? Uh, it's also, you know, it was meant to be that way, I suppose. And I like it. It suits up this album pretty good with the, with the sound they have. Um, spot number eight. Another old Danish black metal band. Solvau with the cult album Toren as a Tusen. This album has cult status, status here in Denmark. It's uh, one of the earliest full-length albums. It, it was released back in 96. And this is, like I said, with Swartzen, this is pretty, pretty uh, hard to describe musically. It's... It's a strange it's a strange mixture between all kinds of stuff but it's you know the main code word is black metal it sounds a little bit like some young people you know they got together to decide to play black metal and this is the result uh, this band and this debut album was uh, I would say the high point of their career they has you know they split up but the members continued in other bands and the last thing i heard about solvel was that was actually a release i think it was from 2011 something uh, a tape uh, 11 copies uh released on recycling tapes with a second album from solvel uh and uh, it was old, unreleased songs. Uh, I don't know that much about that release, but I would really like to get my hands into one of those 11 copies, that's for sure. But check this out. This is pretty... It's also the atmosphere I love about this album and that it's it doesn't go after the traditional 90s black metal terms. It has some something special. It has a unique atmosphere, this album. Check it out. Spot number seven... Wolf Slayer with Odin. If you're into aggressive war metal, this is it. Sounds like they have recorded this in their rehearsal room, just with a tape recorder or something. It's very raw in the production, but I really think it suits the album and the whole aggression about it. Uh, things about Scandinavian folklore, you know, with uh, the Nordic gods and that's you know the title says itself odin but this is very you know they take no prisoners this is just mean cold aggression from start to finish there is uh one of the songs that has a little bit of, of a melodic input not too much though <laughs> but anyway that's just uh plowing ahead the next one is the one man band black Horned with uh Dark season. I was thinking. I can't remember if, if this is the third or the fourth full-length album from the band. I think it's the fourth one. Dark season. Like I said, one-man band. They have been around. He has been around since 2001, I think. And I have most of the stuff he released with this band. Uh, uh, I can't remember his artist name. His real name is Michael, uh, the guy, and uh, oh, what's his name? Two seconds. Atiluth. That was that. That's his artist's name, Atiluth. Um, like I said, yeah, <laughs> that was it. Sorry. Um, one of the releases from from Blackhorn has actually a whole band. He he has gathered a whole band around him. And that is a split with a Canadian band. I can't remember the name of that band, but uh, the release is called Execrated. And that is the only release. Uh, I think there is an EP with a drummer on as well, just coming before Execrated. But besides that, everything else is just him and his doings on these. It's primitive underground black metal. I like it. I like uh, also the other stuff he did, but this is my favorite with uh, Black Horned Dark Season. And um, it, you know, sounds like a little bit laid back kind of black metal. Not too uh, aggressive, but it's just sounds evil and dirty. Uh, some fresh 
inputs here and there. Uh, a little bit of uh, some some un underground primitive death metal as well, but the overall the overall uh, term is of course black metal. So, but check out Blackhorn and check out Dark Season. The next one is also a band, uh, a highly respected band here from Denmark called Engensur, and this is the fifth album, as far as I remember, called For Beast. Uh, my favorite with the band. Uh, if you're into atmospheric black metal with some folkish kinds of melodies uh, combined with uh, aggression and some beauty as well, I could say, then check out Engensur, all of the stuff. And you could easily start off with this album. It's it's very good. Uh, Ungle Borgatz, I think that's his artist name. It's also a one-man band. And he has been active also like uh, Antilouf from Blackhorn. Those two guys have been active in a lot of other bands as well. Um, but this is his main band. So check this out. Good stuff. And the fourth one... If you're into punk and if you're into black metal, check out Haunt Almighty. These guys are pretty active also on the live front and they are always doing great shows with a lot of energy and not so much bullshit. This is just plain, simple, dirty black metal meets punk and it sounds fantastic. This is, uh, I mean, this is the second full-length album from the band. Um, the Devil's Music, uh, Songs of uh, Death and Damnation. My favorite. And all of the albums are just... It's its like a party <laughs> in some ways. It sounds just like uh, Motorhead had a baby with Dark Throne and was being gangbanged by Venom or something like that. Without that sounding too disturbing. But this is just... No bullshit. It's just... Uh, look at these guys. Yeah. They're not taking themselves too seriously, but they are just enjoying themselves playing this sort of stuff. Check it out. That was on spot number four. Now we come to the third place. This is the full-length album with the band Liefer. It's called with uh, it's called Med Død for Oil, and uh, released on Silver Key Records, a uh, small uh, Danish uh, underground label. In 200 copies I love this album this is like with um, Wolf Slayer this is just mean aggressive cold black metal very aggressive and I love it <laughs> um, the guy the main uh, figure in this band keep sending me this tape whoa sending me this tape uh, when it was about to be released uh, so I could write a review of it on a website I once had and when I put this in my uh, a stereo and listen to it I was just blown away completely not it was so cold and so aggressive uh, yeah our this is check this out if you're into on uh, compromiseless uncompromiseless is that a word <laughs> if you're into no compromise black metal uh, with cold edges and all that check out Liefer Medulfoy like I said this is the debut uh, they also released a, a second album two years ago uh, which also is very good. It's a little bit, I say, darker. This is pure aggression, and the the new uh, the new album is two years now. But the the follow up is uh, a bit darker and also aggressive, but but not as much as this. This is just yeah, I love it, and I especially love the next album. Uh, if I love this, and I love this whole cult aggressive uh, department I uh, really enjoyed this Blutfest Lyras fell on spot number two this is the same in the same vein as Liefer there is not so much to say about this this is just pure aggression and this I can't remember I can't remember if this is the third full-length album, I think it is. They have released tons of stuff as well. Are not active anymore, unfortunately. Uh, the members are, though, actually uh, active in other Danish underground bands. The Quisitor is is a, a death metal band that are very active at the moment. A couple of the members from Bluefist are 
also on that band. But this is and the vinyl edition as well. Can't say how much I've listened to this album. It, it's 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 very. If you're into black metal, buy this album. Get your hands in a copy of this, and also check out the rest of uh, the discovery feed because it's it's very good. And talking about no compromise, th these guys takes no prisoner. Great stuff. Here comes, like I said in the beginning, this uh, the shared first place. I couldn't decide which of these two albums were the best. But it's okay, I guess, because I consider them to be like a brother and sister album. And it's with the same band, so perhaps it's okay, I guess. But anyway, here goes. Uh, Denial of God with Horrors of Satan, the first full length, and Denial of God with Death and the Beyond, the second full length. The oldest Danish black metal, as far as I, I know. This is the band. They have been around since 91, have released tons of stuff, uh, EPs, splits, uh, singles, everything. And their two full-length albums are just amazing. It's melodic uh, black meets horror metal meets uh, atmospheric uh, stuff. I, you know, check these two albums out. And if you don't know the band, I think most of the black metal uh, fans out there know this band, Denial of God. They have been around for many years. The tape version of The Horrors of Satan. These two albums are just great. From start till finish, I would give both almost 10 out of 10. Um, the band is still active, and I think they're working on making preparations for the next album, full-length album. And I hope to see it will see the light of the day pretty soon because um, this is just great stuff. Still, when I put these on, it's just uh, enjoyment from start to finish. And when they are aggressive, they are aggressive. And still, when they are melodic, they are melodic uh, in a good way. And when they just need to create the perfect vibe, they do that. Well written, well done, and, and everything. So that's on the shared first place. This was my black metal top 10 over black metal albums, Danish black metal albums. I hope you have enjoyed this list. I'll do more videos from the Danish uh, department, and I'll probably also do more with Danish black metal, because this is just the tip of the iceberg. So thank you for watching, and until next time, stay metal!